All right, so welcome back. So in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, I'll be trying to see how to use Olama, Olama Python, and then Streamlit, right? So let's see how to combine the two new features, like Olama Python with Streamlit to build a simple app. But this app is using two features. This is using a default um, option of just asking it something. So what is ML? And you see that the result is coming and you have the result streaming, right? And you can see it's very fast. So the reason is fast is that this is not using the ML. <laughs> this is using a simple hack behind the scene. So I can check again what is uh, RAG. I see that we have processing and you see that the result is coming here, right? So how do we build something like this in Streamlit? And then you want to use uh, Olama right to help us with that so i'll switch if i go back and i switch the back end i mean the back end i'm going to switch it from here to use the olama model behind the scene and then we can ask it any question so if i go back here and let's always run you can say again what what is um let's say machine or let's call it as what is Python, right, something like that. And now this is processing. This is using the Olama model, right? Behind the scene is using the Olama, Python Olama, to find the word for this, and then it's going to return the result. And you could see this processing, which is very cool, coming from Streamlit. And then we are also going to see the word being typed one at a time. This may take time because my model is not very fast, but we'll see how to build this one. So let's see, whilst it's loading, let's see how to build this wonderful app. So I'll go back again to our workspace here. Then I'm going to create a directory called uh, the S ST Olama, something like that. Now moving to ST Olama. That's the name we are giving. And I'm going to create a file called app.py. In case you don't have Streamlit, can just go to pip install Streamlit. And then we also need Olama, right? To help us with that so these are the two main things so streamlit and then olama to help us with it then let me open this place with vs code and then i'll position it beside it right so it is still taking time because my model is not very my system is not very powerful that's why it's taking some time i have some models that we can also use let's see and then let me position my stuff side by side so we're building a very simple application that is using both a model and then default dictionary. Okay, so let's start building the app. So whilst it's loading, right, you can see that it's loading. When the result come, you see it here. We will start with it. So I'm going to go with import streamlet as st, right? That is all we need. And then we need to import Olama, right? So this one can be any of your model. It can be GPT for all, it can be OpenAI. Any of them can work. So you can use any of these platforms to help you with it, right? Okay, I was checking the audio. Now let's build our simple app. So first, what we need is that we need our prompt, uh, an input for the prompt. So which we can do that with Streamlit. So I'll call this prompt, which will be my st.chat input. Right. And then I'll give it, let's say, ask any term, right? That is it. That's going to be our first. See, see that now the result has come and you can see that it's streaming the result, right? Very cool. So this is very, very impressive. This is using tiny, tiny Nama and you can see the results coming one at a time. So how do we do that? That's what we are trying to build. So let's position it side by side. And then I come back here, I'll say if there is a prompt, we want to return some stuff right so first we want to show the user what has been typed so you so yeah uh, display typed or oh, input prompt from user right so it's going to be my st dot chat message then the type of chat method i'm going is the user right so i give the user icon then from here this one must go with is a Context manager, so it's going to be with ST chat messenger. Then I'll pass in my ST dot write the prompt. So this prompt will not type it one at a time. So this is normal. 
Perfect. Then from there, we will also want to show the processing, right? So this is going to be my processor. So the processing, how do we do that? We just go with, with st.spinner and then this option here allows it to spin, right? So you can, while it's spinning, you can put in some test here. So let's give it a test and call it as a thinking or processing. And call it as thinking. Right, you can call it as processing. And then within your spinner, you just put in your test, whatever test you want to work on. So let's go with, uh, I call it as my result. And for now, let's write the prompt again, right? And then you can just go with, with st. No, we can just go with uh, st dot write. Then the result. Let's save it, right? And then let's go back again. So this is the basic of the application. So with this option, you can see the spinning, and then you're going to return the result. So let's close our app that we're building, and I'll go back here to my terminal. Yep. Yeah, and then let's close this up, and then move into my st llama right and then let's run it so to run it just go to python i'm using python 3 10 dash m then streamlet the version of streamlet i'm using is for the streaming to work you need version 3.1 and upwards right so version 1.3 right 1.3 and upwards so let's run it again so run app.py and it's going to start my browser my default browser just open and let's so you can copy this and then paste it here so let's close off this and now we have an empty space here right let's go back here and then let's type in some stuff so i go with hello so now we had it here right the hello was not too big but if i type in a very long test you could see the processing going Right, perfect. So that is what we are doing. So the spinning takes time. So based on the time, in case I import, let's say, import time, and I want you to sleep for some time. So time dot sleep for let's say zero point two seconds. Right. Now if I go back again, always run, and I type in hello. Right, it's too fast, but let's take in that time. Right, it's, it was too fast, right? So how do we, you get the point, the idea is that with this option here, you can process some stuff, right? So we will be using Olama to make it easy for us to see the spanner because this is, if I make it, um, let's make it two seconds, let's see. If I go with, hello. So now, because I made it two seconds, it's, you are seeing a thing in there, right? So. This is a very nice feature that you can use because when you are using a model, we have to wait for the model to pick some information, right? So let's see how to use Olama. So I'll take off all of this that we have, and then we'll be using Olama to help us with our result. Let's take off this. And then Olama is very simple. All you have to do is that you just go with my results that we have. Then Olama dot chat. Then I can paste in my model. So the model I'm using is, there are different models. You can list all the models so I can list the models that are available on my system with Ulama dot uh, think list, right? To list all the model. So let's go with st dot write to show what is there. If I go back here and I type in Ulama so then these are all the models that I have, right? So these are all the available models I have on my system. I have just tiny llama. That's what I'm using. You can also use Mistra and the rest, right? Okay. Perfect. So that is how to list all the models. So we are just going to specify the model that we are using. In our case, it's tiny llama. That's what you're using. So I'll copy this one here. It's not that big. It's like 600 megabytes. Now paste it here. That is the model we are using. And then we need to specify the messages and the messages takes in a list of dictionary, right? With this particular format, with the rule, let to specify the rule. So in our case, the rule is a user, can be an assistant, and then you specify the content. So the content is going to be the prompt you are sending, right? 
So the API is very simple, it's similar to OpenAI. Right, so that is all. So once the result comes, you are going to return the result here. So let's use Markdown. So we can just go with st. Uh, right? Or we can just use Markdown. And it's always going to be the result. Perfect. But once the result is going to come with message and container, so I have to put it in a better format. So result is going to be the message that is coming right? and then the content. So this is the only thing we need. And that's what you'll be returning to the user race. Purpose, right? Very simple. So let's try it out. So let's say what is Olama a large language model. If I click on it, so now it's thinking and it's returning our result, right? So very, very cool. This will take time based on how fast your system is. My system is not that fast, so this will take time. So this is how to do that. The same thing could have been done with, in case we're using uh, GPT for all, we could have also used the same thing. Like, uh, let me bring it out. In case we're using GPT-4, we could also use the same thing, right? So it's the same idea, right? Not a lot of things. Mm -hmm. right. So it's taking some time for it to run. In case we're using GPT-4, it could it should have been, let's say, from GPT-4 all, import GPT-4 all, and then you initialize the model, and then you pass it there. So now our result came, right? <laughs> so funny. Olama is a large language model perfect, right? So it gave us a result, which is cool. Now, how do we stream this, right? So to stream this data, as so it just came once, we want to find a way of streaming that particular data. Streaming means like, yeah, one, at, one character at a time. So how do we do that in streaming? So we can easily do that by first, we need to create a generator function. So let's go to uh, def. And we can call it as word, we can call it as stream data, or it can be any name, so stream data, right? Or yeah, something like that. And then I'll just pass in my test. Then I'll pass in a delay, right? And let's give the delay, it's going to be a float. And the delay is going to be 0 0.02, or it can be two seconds, anyhow you want it to be. Perfect. That is it. And then this function, what we want to do is that we need to split whatever test that is coming, all these tests, split them into chunks, into tokens. So it's going to be for word in my test dot split. The once we split it, we will need a way to return it one at a time, right? So we can say that yield. Right, and then we will yield the word at the time. So this is no more a just a normal function. This is now a generator, right? Because of the yield. But we also want to append that particular test into an empty space, and then we need to set a delay, right, to give it that feeling that is being typed one at a time. And I'll pass in my delay. That is it, right? So this is a simple function you have created, which we'll be using to stream our data one at a time. Then I'll change this from stream data to streamlet write stream. This is a new function that is very cool. And then I'll pass this test into my stream data function, my response. Right. So let's go back again and let's type in. So what is slang chain used for in LLM in data science? Let's see if it's a return something. Now you see that it's thinking. And then when the results come, because we are passing the word into a generator in this particular format, we will now be able to see it coming one at a time, right? So which is a very nice feature. Apologies for the audio. Right. So I've seen how to use Olama and then all you are doing is that you're just, the model is locally on our system. That's why it's taking some time. Then we are spinning to show that, okay, something is happening behind the scene. And then we are now returning the test, right? You can also use uh, 
session state to store the result to make it easy for you in case you want to do that and that is also you can check the links below for that particular tutorial so this is taking some time and you see that now the result is coming right perfect so that is how to use um Olama with Streamlit and then you could see that the word was streamed one at a time, right? Very cool. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can post it in the comments below. See you another time. Stay blessed. Bye.